Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Um, here, hold on just one second. Make sure my volume, people's been saying been, it's been hard to hear me. Okay, so I, I got my volume on um, full, so I hope you guys can hear me loud and clearly here. Um, yeah, so I just want to say, hey, thanks to all my recently new subscribers. And if you're new here, it's totally free. Go ahead and subscribe and hit the like button. And uh, also, I'm not a financial advisor. I can't tell you to buy a hold or sell any crypto asset. We do got to do our own due D and just make sure this crypto, you know, this big crypto bull run coming up, it's going to be utility based. So just, you know, make sure you're in the right projects that have some type of, uh, you know, use case um, utility behind it. Anyways, let's get right on to it. Uh, so this is going to be an update on SwiftCoin. We're, um, I know a couple of days ago, we did the 50% pump, um, the 23% of a penny. Um, honestly, when we pumped, like I said, when we pumped the 23% of a penny, I, 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 I thought we could at least pump the like 30% of a penny, but you know, it did the, it pumped up there, then it, you know, it pulled back and then it pumped close again, then we pulled back again. But, um, but I just, it, I just like the way it, we consolidated at, at, um, between 16, between 16 to 18% of a penny, we consolidated, which is a good thing. You know, I actually thought we could have, we could have pulled back maybe to like, 13 or 14 percent of a penny but we didn't i think we got down to like 16 percent of a penny uh then it came back to 17 and 18 so yeah it's it's been holding support pretty good it found a new level of support you know because you know we know it was, it was sitting out between you know third between like 12 to 14 for a long for a long time uh you know there was a couple of times it pumped up to 15 or 16 percent of a penny then it pulled right back to like 12 or 13 uh, but yeah right now we're we're sitting at 18 percent of a penny um, I believe that our play, I believe our next major pump, um, I believe we can definitely go over 30, 30% 30 of a penny, even beyond, especially with the, you know, big news coming January, you know, January 10th is the big day. We're going to see what happens that day. Obviously, whether, you know, the spot Bitcoin ETF get approved or not, either way it goes, it's going to be a big day. Um, I'm trying to, you know, you know, stay focused and, you know, keep up with the news. Um, but anyways, uh but anyways yeah we have um there we have it take a look at that one month chart there we have it here where we are we were sitting at 12 percent of a penny then it, you know we came up to 23 then we pulled right back down we got right back down after we hit the 23 then i think we got back down to like 16 percent of a penny like i said then you know we kind of pull back up a little bit but either way go you know we we consolidated pretty good the fact that we're sitting at 18 percent of a penny right now for swift is actually a good sign from you know from sitting at 12 or 13 like it was for a long time you know uh, uh but yeah and i believe highly you know we're going to get a swift coin is going to get a, a nice pump this bull run. i remember the other day somebody came in a comment saying oh swift didn't pump for eight years i'm, I'm like what do you mean pump didn't pump for eight years um this token came out in like 20, what, 2017? Hold up, I don't think this coin has ever been out for eight years. It like, it came out in, what, let me see here. Yeah, it came out in 2017. So the project haven't ever been out that long. I, but yeah, uh, back in 2018, it was at, uh, let me see here. Yeah, back in 2018, it had a high of like seven cents. But somebody said it, it didn't pump for eight years. Uh, the last bull run, like I said, when I did that price, um, when I did the historical price data, last bull run, it pumped from three zeros. It went from three zeros, um, I think six, to two zeros, like 79. So it did have a good pump last bull run. You know, he must have missed that. You know, the person so the person that commented said it never pumped. So... You can see back in 2019 during this was during the bear market, obviously at three zeros. Okay, let me go back here. Oh, that's 2018. Okay, hold up. No. Okay, looking at this all-time chart, I'm gonna go back to where right before it uh Where was there was a time when it was like get three zeros? Okay, that's 2021. Hold up, check out the one year chart. Uh, 
Okay, let's go back to 2020. Yep. Yep, there we have it. Three zeros. And 2020 was three zeros. It was three. I'm trying to think what was that all time low. Three zeros. Six. Yep, there we have it. Where it's at three zeros. In 2020, it was at three zeros. And then go leading up to the bull run, it went from, I think the low was like 306 or something like that. And then the 2021 bull run, it went from 306 all the way to uh, 2079 during 2021. So it, it had a bull run, the last bull run. It did pump. You know, uh, for people saying that it never pumped, the last bull run, it did pump. Um, just, just gotta go back and look at got just gotta go back and look at the chart. And the last bull run it went up to two zero seven nine. Like I said, I covered this on my video, my other video um a few days back. So let's go back to twenty twenty one. I think was it February of twenty twenty one? Yep, let's go back to February of twenty twenty one. I believe that's when it when it hit uh two zero seven nine. Let me go back. Okay, that's March, February, okay, let me see, where can I find it? Okay, here we go. 2070 in March. Let's go back to February. I th Why can't I? Okay. Okay, that's March. Two zero six two. Okay, I'll just say it hit. It hit between 70 to, anyways, it hit between 70 to 80. Okay. Okay, that's 2070 from uh, April of 26, excuse me, April 16 of 21. But I thought it hit 79. I don't know why I can't find it. Let me go back to February. Was it? Okay. Hmm. Anyways, yeah. But yeah, looking at the historical data, you can see where it pumped. I don't have too much time to uh to keep looking for it. Uh but yeah, here we have 2066 back in. I remember the other day I saw it. I don't know why I can't find it now. But yeah, it had a it did hit 2079. During the last crypto bull run. Okay, I'm trying to. But anyways, there we have it. Uh, let's take a look at the volume. Okay, the volume we have. Uh, okay, we have seven million volume. No, excuse me. The market cap. The market cap is at seven million, but we're at right now. We're at negative. 70% for the volume. Uh, yeah, there we have it. Let me let's go to the community, see where people's talking about. We're probably gonna see where people stand in the comments in our community. Right here it says December 26. Let's move. Hold on, guys. We're flying to the moon. Okay, get more here. Alrighty, so yeah, Swift, man, we're definitely in this bull run. We're definitely going to be heading up. Okay, this person took a. Uh... Okay, what does it say here? He said I'm going. He said I'm going to sell my set and saw to put in Swift. Everyone, let's pump it up. <laughs> let's pump it up to the moon. This person said, "Move all my solo. This token." It's a sleeping giant. Hold on, guys. Look at some of the last. Hold on. 
that was it. Uh, but yeah, apparently there's a new update. It says exciting. Uh, um, hold on just a second. Exciting update from Swift. Our Bridgers channel now supports cross-chain flash swaps for USDC Soul and USDC Soul. Huh? That's a nice update. Easily swap uh, USDT Soul and USDC Soul. That's pretty cool. Yep, there. Swift is always coming out with some new updates. It says Bridgers decentralized cross-chain bridge now supports. Yep, there it is. USDC Soul and USDC Soul. That's a pr pretty nice update. It says needs the billion dollars meme on chain. Oh wait, Swift. It says this person says back two point zero by the end of day tomorrow. Bearish. Alrighty, we're looking good. Looking at some of the latest comments. Get ready for the new year. Prime ready for the bull run. This person says, let's hit, let's hit that 0 0.0030 target. Exactly. In the short term, I believe we can, I, I believe our next major pump for Swift, we can definitely hit that 0 0.0030. Yep, our 30% of a penny. That's going to be a major uh, price once we get up there. Honestly, if we pump up there, I'm probably going to go ahead and take some profits off the table and wait for a pullback. It depends how we pump, or it depends if it gets over 30% of a penny. But I believe that 30% of a penny will be a major price target for um, for Swift. If we could get up to that price, that would be very nice. You know, the last bull run it hit, it went up, I think, yep, like I said, it went up to 0 0.0070, 79. But I believe that... Um, this upcoming bull run, we'll, we'll, we will definitely get over a penny. You know, one of one, one of my subscribers saying we can hit 50 cents, which is possible, you know, because this is a small cap. This could definitely go parabolic. Exciting news for Swift. Today, our platform token saw a remarkable surge. Yep, climbing from 0 0.014 to 0 0.023. This impressive jump represents a growth of over 65%. Such, such a leap underlines the dynamic potential of Swift. Yep, uh, thank you for our supportive community. Yep. So yeah, this uh this project is is constantly growing. And and this is a and this is a utility that's gonna be needed in the in, in the upcoming bull run. Uh so yeah, hey, I don't want to be sorry guys if I took too long in this video. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up. Just wanna um show and you show here in the comments on coin market cap, most mo excuse me, most people most people are bullish on the play, um, as you see here. Uh, but anyways, guys, yes, there we have it. Um, happy New Year. Hey, everybody, uh, type in the comments. Uh, yeah, how many Swift are you holding? Me, I can tell you how much I'm holding. I'm holding exactly 2 million Swift. That's how many I have. I'm ready to go to the moon, man, with Swift. I'm telling you, man, our community, we're going to dive in hand. Um, like I said, 2024 is our year. The sky's the limit, man. We're going to make, we're going to be ready to make this financial, this financial gain, this financial all this financial money, pay off all our bills, you know, live the life that we want to live. Uh, but anyways, yeah. Um, I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, please don't forget to smash that like button. Uh, and also thanks again to all my recently um, new subscribers. It means a lot. You know, the, uh, the grind don't start, don't stop here at, um, here at Crypto Nation. But hey, I will see you guys in the next one. Hope everybody have a good Friday. And I will see you guys in the uh, next video. Take care.